Multiple mathematics. By using Vedic mathematics, not only the arithmetic, even we can learn geometry. Even we can find the Pythagoras theorem. So what is Pythagoras theorem? A square plus B square is equal to C square. Means sum of two sides of a right angle triangle is equal to the other side that is a hypotenuse. So in this school what you have learned? When the two sides of the triangle is given, how to find the other side? Right. But by using Vedic mathematics, if only one side of the triangle is given, you can find the other two sides. That is a, you know, very beautiful and a shocking method you can see now. Yes, let us continue. See here. Here, there is a right angle triangle. Okay. One of the side is given. One of the side is three. Then we have to find the other two sides. How to find this? See the steps. By using Vedic mathematics, we use some three steps. In, the, in seconds, we will get the answer for this. Okay. Square it. First step is square it. So, given number. This one of the side of the uh, triangle is 3. So, find the square of it. If you square that, that will be the 9. 3 square it. 3 into 3. That is 9. Divide by 2. Divide 9 by 2. How much it will be? 9 by 2 is 4 by 5. Okay. 9 is divided by 2. So that is 4.5. Round off. Round off this 4.5. 4.5 is in between which two numbers? 4.5 is in between 4 and 5. So 4.5 is in between 4 and 5. Here we got two numbers. These two are the sides. This is 4. This is 5. Means the bigger number is hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always bigger than the other two sides. So sum of two sides is equal to 1. Isn't it? By using such a beautiful tricks, even we can find the Pythagoras theorem. 